up guys today i'm running the ssr15 in the confusion car mode to give you guys an idea on what this thing can actually do some of you already pre-ordered it and you know i just want to give an impression how well it shoots how snappy it is and i also want to show you how reliable it is especially at those super hard super harsh conditions because it's muddy it's wet it's raining it's probably the worst conditions that are out there for an he and today i'm going to show you what it can do in the end of the video i'm going to give you an update on the progress of this project so stay tuned until the end but now let's have a look at the gameplay today didn't start the best not only is it raining which is not pleasant at all but i also arrived late for the game I got totally confused on which side I'm playing. I hit two of my teammates until I realized that my armbed is the same color. I'm really sorry for this guys. I hope they're not too mad at me. After the respawn I finally noticed that I'm on the red team and I can start attacking the actual enemy. Nice. These bushes are completely soaked with water. You walk in it and your gun and gear is instantly full of water. Let's see if the new SSR15 will be able to handle that. So how is it to play with <gasps> this thing? It's like you see someone and you don't have to wait for the right moment, you just, you just go for him, you just charge. That's nice. Easier, huh? You just have a lot more firepower, it's easier. But you also get killed a lot more. <laughs> I'm only using semi today. The primary reason is that the game doesn't allow full auto, but that's not a bad thing. Semi stresses the components inside the gun more than regular full auto fire. And I want to see if the gun stays consistent throughout the whole day. So it's a win-win. Firing full auto would be a lot of fun to be honest. But semi only is not bothering me at all since the trigger response is so damn fast. What is bothering me, however, is the fact that I'm so used to magnified optics and it's hard for me to track the BB through a red dot, especially at those long ranges. And the drops on the glass of the red dot doesn't make it any easier. <laughs> this mobile home looks like a great place to hide from the rain for a moment, but there's a catch. The goddamn window is too small. <laughs> I'm stuck! <laughs> Joseph, disconnect! <laughs> Come on! You can do this! <laughs> okay, I can do it. I can't. I can't like shake blue. This hole is too small. Just need some skill to go through. I literally got stuck. As a human being, you have a good idea about what you can fit through. But once you put a holster on you, it completely changes. <laughs> Yeah, this is a solid gun. The guy over there. He's too far. It's so nice, you can actually see, but you can't shoot. God, okay. Are you playing with full auto? Just, no, no, no. Only semi. semi. Oh. 
Kumpel, leider kein Sniper am Start. The strong wind is carrying the BBs to the left, but it's hard for me to see through the red dot. So I'm trying to put as many BBs down range as possible and hope for the best. So one of the biggest issues I have is red dots. I just don't use them at long range. I'm so used to a scope and I, you know, I see where I'm shooting and I can correct, but I just can't do it with this. It's like guessing where the BB goes and you know, if the wind takes it away, it's hard to correct. Whoa. Oh, when I'm stuck in here, if I want to go back, I have to jump over this barrel and I get shot. If I want to go front, I get shot, and on the side, there's no cover. So, let's just hope somebody takes this guy down. There's no way out of the situation, so let's try to just charge them. Maybe I'll get lucky. Ich sagen, ja. Okay, passt. <lacht> The guy actually works here. Da! Doesn't feel good to get shot by somebody that you're paying. Just take away his bonus. Yes. <lacht> Alright, that was the game with the SSR 15. Was really enjoying it, even though the weather conditions are as terrible as it can be for an airsoft game. I really like the snappiness. You cannot pull the trigger faster than the gun fires. So it's just like. And I really enjoyed it. When you pull the trigger, the shot just breaks. And that's what I did not like about AEGs when I was playing with them, you know, a couple of years ago. Now with this one, it's very close to a bolt action. You pull the trigger, boom, and the BB just leaves the barrel. Accessory test was successful. Everything is working perfectly. Flashlight is working, laser is working, red dot is working. However, I have to say that I'm thinking about putting a low magnification scope on top of this gun because it just shoots so accurate. And sometimes when there's wind, you want to kind of correct for the wind, but because the target is so far away, it's kind of like, did I shoot left or right? I'm not sure. And you know, with the scope, you can just track the BB trajectory better. So maybe low magnification scope goes onto this gun. Now update on the timeline of this project. We are looking at August 2020. This is when those guns will arrive in the warehouses and this is when we're gonna launch this product. So for all you guys out there who already pre-ordered, this is the date for the people who haven't pre-ordered it yet. You can reservate your spot in the pre-order line by going to knowledge.com. You'll find the product there. And you basically pay a fee of getting your spot in the waiting line because I believe this is when this product hits the market I'm not sure how long the stock is gonna last, so if you wanna make sure that you get one, you can reserve your spot right now at knowledge.com.